Right, here's a demo on the Citronic MPCD S6 CD player. Let me just go through the different buttons and sections on it. First, the front, it has a slot in CD drive, quite large touch sensitive jog dial. Here you have basic play and cue. This is the loop in, out, and re, in re loop. This is track search, basically what you know. This is search within. It has, it's just you can turn it and then you release it and it goes back. Let me just put it that way. You can see it better. So it has four different speeds at which you can search. Here, this has actually two f two functions, like you can see. If you set it to parameter, right here, you will, can define the time and the ratio of the DSP effects. I'll talk about that later. If you set it to folder, you can select folders and tracks for your MP3 CDs. This is the screen. It's hard to see, I think. Pitch range, you can select from 4, 8, 16, or 100. It has pitch lock function. You can put a pitch on and off for quick resetting. Large pitch control. Pitch bending, you're not going to use it if you have a jog wheel. Um, here's the sample and hot cue. Yeah, I don't use it often, but you can store hot cue points and record samples and play them afterwards. Then this is of course for the DSP effects. They are um, BPM controlled, so you select the amount of beats, or you adjust them with the with the uh, buttons, and then you select an effect. It has two rows. You have to select that first. It has scratch, filter, echo, trans, skid, phase, flanger, pan, and reverse. The whole button is for the. Uh, settings you use if you want to hold them or reset them after every time you, you use it all right more details on the dsp effects just showing them first you have scratch this is of course this then you have filter this is it sounds like this Changing the sound now, and I go low. It takes out all of it except the bass, and I go up. It only keeps the high frequencies, and the in between is the mid. So you can create very cool effects with this. Note that I have to and press the ratio button to use my drag wheel, and I can only when I. Once to extend the effect, I just put the time very long. So keep turning that. And now I can have more control. I decide when it, what is taken away. Alright, this is the muffle. Now echo. Echo is selecting an amount of beats where again you adjust it. And then it will sample that and replay it again. So now you hear double, four beats, echo. Trends is will uh, cut the music for the amount of beats that you select here. And then select like one. This is of course cool with one quarter of beat. It's basically used for scratching purposes, I think. Then, the blue line, you have skid. This is only for start and, and stopping. So this was fast. Um, and, I, and I'm going to increase this to 4. It's like a turntable, starting and stopping slowly. You can uh, uh, alter the speed anyway. You like you know, phasing is the pitch actually sampling and uh, and sliding around it. You can have the same effect when you have two different copies and you're using the pitch control to to, to wave the sound next to each other. This is very fast. This is really better. I'm going to double that and reset it. So you have nice spacey sound. And then the spacey sound there's a flanger. 
totally different, it's not about the pitch, it's just an extra sound. When the pan you won't, probably won't hit it, is the, you're going to switch between the left and the right side of the speakers. Reverse is quite logic. Plays the song in reverse. Well, that's basically it. You can, oh, we can select multiple effects on one line. So you can have a filter echo and trend. And when I select something from the blue line, that particularly one is shut off. So you can't double the ones that are above each other. But they're very easy to use. Maybe the time, maybe the buttons aren't perfect. And also you have to push this button to use a drop wheel, but you can have a really nice effect with it. See? You can really improve the sound. That's it.